Okay, so um, one of the things that got upgraded the other day was the Twitter app. And in the iTunes store, Twitter is now up to version 3.3. Now, what's in 3.3? There's some drastic changes. One is a thing called Quick Bar, which shows trends and other important things without leaving your timeline. Um, quick Bar, swipe the Quick Bar left right to cycle through trends trends based on your location. Uh, it says there's a cleaner redesigned tweet compose screen automatically shortens URLs just paste them in and they will only count as 20 characters. Then there's something called autocomplete usernames and hashtags, easier phone uploading, uh, photo uploading, find friends using your phone contacts so it'll search your phone contacts and improve DM uh, conversion view now works similar to SMS chat cleaned up preferences and bug fix so you know some people upgraded and don't like it so let's uh, let's upgrade okay so I upgraded and when I get into the new version uh, and I first launch I get this window that says what's new find your friends on Twitter by scanning your contacts, discover what's trending now with the quick bar. Try swiping. Well, I don't want to find friends. I don't want it to tap into my um, email, my contacts, and look for friends. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to click close. Okay, so when you go into it, uh, I really don't like the new version of Twitter because you, if you look here, you've got this trend bar which sort of blocks the view and it, to me it just clutters the interface of Twitter and so you know I really don't like it so the question is what do you do if you want to get go back and uninstall an app and go to the older version how do you do that you know and so let's take a look at how you would do that first just delete the app from your iPhone that's one way you can do it through iTunes but just delete it delete this version just hold down with your finger and you'll get the uh, X and click the X and it'll say delete and uh, it'll delete all the data but that's okay with an app like Twitter um, and also if you've backed up on iTunes it's not a big deal so you just delete because Twitter has all the stuff in the cloud and in any case if you've backed up it's there so just delete the app so that's step one Okay, so what do you do next? Well, if you go into iTunes and you go into the app section, you see all your apps. Here are all your apps. And the Twitter app, the most recent version, if you go over to Date Modified, it's March 4th. So this is the, the latest version. And this is the version that I don't want. So when you sync up, you're going to get back the most recent version. So how do you go back and get a prior version of an app that's in iTunes? Well, the key thing is where are prior versions? Well, one place for prior versions is in the trash. Because if you look here, when you upgrade, you get um, you get your uh, you get your apps here in the uh, in the garbage so they go automatically there so one thing that you could do here's the older Twitter uh, well here's one version of Twitter uh, app and um, you could drag it back into this is the date modified this is the January 19th version so you could you could switch it out with the one that's in iTunes now the ones in iTunes, if you want to find out where it is, you right click and you say show in finder. And here it is. It's in this path under here on, in my iTunes folder under mobile applications is the old Twitter. So one way to get your old your old um, old version of uh, the app is to drag out the uh, uh, the more recent one out of that folder and then drag out of garbage the the version that you want and put it into that folder okay so that's one way but what if you threw away your garbage how are you gonna get it back well there's another way and what a lot of people don't know is that your apps that are in iTunes 
are backed up if you have uh, time machine time machine is the you know is the um, service that time machine is the service that um, you know backs everything to an external hard drive but so let's enter time machine and here's what's so cool we go into time machine and we go back in time I'll go back a couple of days and let's see we're gonna go to earlier this week and look at this I'll stop and look at this the Twitter app version 3.2.2 which is the January version is there and all I have to do to restore it is right is click restore Twitter 3.2.2 and it's gonna say restore it <coughs> so look at this check this out choose a folder <coughs> for the restored uh, app and I'm gonna go into iTunes and I'm gonna go into what am I going into mobile applications and that's where I'm gonna put it and it says the location to which you were restoring already contains an item with the same name and I click replace and boom there I have the prior version so when I sync the iPhone the older version of Twitter is gonna be there so that's just a nice little tip if you ever want to go back to a prior version of an app okay so one of the more funny things that happened 